welcome to another lockdown video what we're going to do today is uh, recap and explain more on some of the things we've done before as people have requested it just briefly if you don't already know and don't subscribe to the channel uh, I'm 73 years old and I started martial arts when I was 16, uh, 11 so 60, over 60 years I've been doing it that includes judo, judo, jiu-jitsu, karate, bagua jang, tai chi and everything else in between and of course Wing Chun so what we're going to do today is explain in great detail the most secret thing in Wing Chun that's so secret it's there in plain sight and nobody knows it and nobody understands it so we're going to rectify that we want to recap a bit on a previous video and I want to prove these concepts of Wing Chun so you know the actual fact and you can demonstrate it so find a partner get them to face you as I'm facing like that put your arm out and get them to do the same so you end up like that now I want you to both push as hard as you can so you're there and you're pushing as hard as you can now that is force against force and basically what's going to happen almost certainly every time the bigger one or stronger one is going to win but there's a way around that and this is the secret of Wing Chun so this gets me to push you just as I've done but this time you don't push back you push up you don't actually physically have to move up but as they push you push up you should now find that with very little effort they can't push you because what's happening this force is coming here meeting your force and joining and this is becoming the leading force and this will become the following force so if you do that and you time it right and then move the person will be stuck and actually follow you because it's the leading force and you're leading it so you can actually prove that's the point So in Wing Chun, as we say, it's in plain sight, but hidden. So if we take a Tanz out, a punch is coming in here. So it's coming this way. And you're doing that. And although the force is going that way, a lot is coming in because you're actually coming in like that. And it's locked. The body is locked. So you've got all that body weight behind it. If we take that, you're doing force against force. And what Bruce Lee found was when he moved to America, bigger and stronger people, it didn't work because it was force against force. So here's the secret there's three types of forces there's vertical, which obviously is that or that and there's horizontal which is anything that way that way anything that goes in a horizontal plane and the last one is centrifugal or s circular so it can be a big circle or even a little circle so if the force is horizontal you can't defend against it with horizontal force because it will always end up as being force on force yes if you're bigger and stronger or you can to get the force but it's the wrong way of doing it if the force is vertical you can't block vertically because that becomes then force on force so you defend by using a different force to the one that's being applied 
So if somebody's punching there and you're trying to block with Tanzo like that, you're doing horizontal against horizontal. And you'll often see even masters on YouTube doing sticky hands and they're there and somebody's arms there and, they, and it just isn't working. So how do we get round it? Well it's so obvious if you've done even the basic Wing Chun you know but nobody's ever told you. So in the first form of Wing Chun you do a Tanzo which is horizontal force against force but then there's a vertical one and it's so plain and obvious and everybody practices it and they don't know what it's for. Well if the force is coming horizontal and you go up it's just the same as doing that. You no longer force against force because this force is coming in this way and you're going up that way so exactly the same as that. As you do that this hand is then being led up. And we can make things better by also adding in circular force. So as we go up we can twist round because then there's no impact there at all because that is circling, circulating, going round. So it's up and round so that there's no, that force isn't being applied at all because it's now a vertical force against a horizontal force. And it's just so obvious in many of the moves and you can tell the difference between uh, a student who will do that as opposed to a master who will do that. And probably looking at it you couldn't tell the difference. It's the same as doing that horizontal or that which is going vertical. horizontal, vertical and if you wouldn't been told you'd never notice that that was going up so it's again horizontal force, vertical force and you can if you get the timing right as we say on that you can actually lead people anybody that's done a keto will know that's the, whole, the basic of a keto if you get your timing right they're pushing if you go up and you, you can totally destroy them. So it's exactly the same. And you get this, it comes a lot into, uh, you see it very clearly in sticking hands, where people do off and, uh, and uh, simply because they don't know to change the force vertical or it, it can be down, depending on what, which way the force is going. If it's horizontal. The thing with sticking hands is you're never supposed to stop. If you stop you're doing it wrong because it should be a continuous motion. If you go up and the hands there you don't stop you come down strike and it's a continuous never stops motion and it changes from vertical to horizontal and it's continuous motion, so it's not a uh, and a uh, and a uh. It's moving all the time, never stops. If you have to stop, you're doing it wrong. And this comes into everything. You can actually do it, but it's very hard to do. If somebody punches you, it's a horizontal force. And you can get your timing right, you can do that and exactly the same will happen. Or you can do that and exactly the same will happen. And you notice this a lot in police work, that they're getting the guy on the ground, they've got his arm, they're pressing down, he's resisting, pressing up, so now you've got vertical against vertical. And, uh, and you see this struggle going on. Again the answer is simple, he presses up, you don't press down, you go horizontal because it's vertical against vertical so we change to horizontal and with no effort whatsoever, even after how hard he pushes it, it doesn't go anywhere. 
and it's just such an essential thing of Wing Chun and why because a lot of classes you get somebody at the front going and everybody's going and nobody knows why they're doing it and it's a strange art in most arts you do a, a block and then a punch and that's quite clear what you're doing you're doing that block and then you're following through with a punch but in Wing Chun you're doing something and you're doing this and and it's one's not sort of necessarily related to the other <laughs> and it gets confusing it, it, each thing is in isolation so the fact that you're going up is in isolation and that can if if the punch is coming in you can flip to the outside or the inside depending which so you can use that and then to to flip flip round and if you're following through with that you can then move the arm across so it, it's it's not very clear so look at everything you do and consider the forces as with that one you're doing that that's horizontal against horizontal up only slightly up you've got the same thing and again you can do that twist so there's no impact and then immediately strike so it should always be a continuous motion so if you're doing tenzo up twist and strike it's not a separate period and then we'll have a think about it up continuous motion you can come down and take his arm down to strike or you can come up cover so his wrist is there and strike so it's always a continuous thing same going down if you're going that way with that block that is horizontal if you're doing a horizontal if you're doing that that's vertical against horizontal that depends on what you're blocking if it was a low low punch and you're doing that it, it's horizontal and you're doing vertical so go through all the defenses and see how you can change it and how the force is coming because obviously the force isn't necessarily constant especially if you're doing sticking hands that you, you're going up because it's, it's horizontal he might then change so it's a continuous being sensitive and the key thing is being relaxed and you see so many movies don't you where they ah, and, well, ah. and if your hands solid there that and your body is now one unit and you move it on that and you've you've gone if it's relaxed oh, relaxed so it must be always relaxed until the final second totally relaxed so that concludes this quite short uh, video and I hope you will now try this prove it works and then work on your sticking hands and your vertical movement so everything look look at as we said every movement if it's horizontal you don't want to be going horizontal up if it's vertical then you want to be going horizontal so good luck and we'll catch you on the next uh, lockdown video